What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now, in this video, I'm gonna build a sanding station or a sandpaper holding station. I have sandpaper everywhere all over the shop, discs, pads, sheets, everything. So I wanna build a little um, cabinet that I can organize all the various grits and sheets and stuff and see what I need. And it's easy to grab the different grits. And uh, that's basically the idea. Now, I'm gonna build a cabinet exactly like this one out of that. TV cabinet that I'm recycling, that oak TV cabinet. So if you want to see how to build a cabinet, go back and check out this video first. I'll leave a link up here. It's working out quite well. I have the dehumidifier up there and it's just keeping all my hand tools from rusting. So definitely go check that video out and you can see that build with the little light stuff in it. So I have a piece of that cabinet, which is right here. So I thought, why not book match it at this end? So we will use this as the front of our sandpaper station and I'm gonna build a carcass exactly the same size as that cabinet there. So I'm gonna kick on build a carcass. You don't wanna watch me do that all over again. So go back, check that video out first. It's gonna be the exact same process. And when I get to that stage where the carcass is built, we'll jump back in and we'll start adding the shelves. So let's do it. Okay, this is where we're at. I have the carcass built and I'm using the other piece or the other half of that shelving unit. So it's gonna mirror this one over that side and uh, that's where my orbital sander will sit. And then this is ready made for the discs for my orbital sander. This, I'm gonna put a series of shelves in and the sand, different grades of sanding sheets can sit in there. And this then, uh, sanding belts, so we can put some collars that I'll make on the lathe at a later date. And then we can add different size um, sanding belts there. And maybe my large orbital sander can sit here. So yeah, that's about it. So I'm trying to use up every single piece of that TV stand and we're almost there. So I have some pieces left over that we can make some oak shelving and uh, try and make it look a bit more like this one. I have the door cut to size. So this is just going to sit on it like this. So that's the other panel. So it should mirror this effect over here. And uh, yeah, it's a good way of getting rid of some old furniture that's been thrown out. So I need to sand this and Danish oil so it looks like that and uh, get some more Danish oil on the plywood just to um, yellow it up a small bit. Now this is WBP ply. It's a good quality plywood. It's not a top quality plywood. Um, the outer sheet is delaminating a small bit and it's splintering like crazy. So if you find you're getting a splintering problem like these rough edges here when you're cutting through your plywood, run a tape over it. Mask and tape your line and cut through your mask and tape and that might help stop the splintering, but it's pretty bad in this. It's a fairly thin veneer on the top and it is splintering like crazy, but uh, it's only a cabinet, so we won't mind too much. But yeah, there we go. So now I need to pull the pins out of these um, kind of joining pieces that the, that old TV stand was held together with. It's all full of brad nails and stuff, but I'll use these for my shelf supports. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get on with that now and we'll start making some shelves. I'm just trying to get these brad nails out. But uh, they're not coming out, so I have to just nip them all. So just watch I don't get any in the eye. But the side with the two pieces protruding will go against my wall and against my shelf, so it won't make a big deal. It's not going to catch anybody in the hand or anything like that. It's always nice to be able to recycle furniture like this. And there's always good furniture been thrown out. Um, it might be past its use by date. It might be wrecked, but the wood can still be good. Sometimes you can get your hand on some oak or ash or mahogany even. So keep an eye out. It's handy then to us to repurpose it and, and uh, upcycle, I believe they call it. Upcycle and upgrade your workshop. Right, these are our shelving units, so we're just going to get a counter song screw into all of these. Right, 
Right guys, there we go, that is our shelves in. Now it's a little bit more rough and ready than our actual tool cabinet, but this is all about recycling and reusing old material. And uh, this is the kind of leftovers of the TV cabinet. So this is going to be for our sanding sheets. Like I said, orbital sander, orbital sanding discs. And then we might put our large orbital sander here and then our sanding belts. So depending on what size sanding belts I'm going to get, I'm going to change that sander. So I won't put the, the pins in now, but I'm going to make them on the lathe for holding the various size belts, but that will be added later on. So we're almost there. I'm just going to stick the front on this. This is a kind of a short video. Most of what I built is already in that tool cabinet build, like I said already. So yeah, this is just a short video just to show recycling some material and uh, getting a sandpaper station. So we're going to get this up on the wall now and we can look at putting the door on it. So let's do that. Okay, we have the top mounted on now. I just used the magnets again. They get a pretty strong grip. This could get turned into a tool cabinet at a later date and I could put glass in it. So I didn't want to put screws through the door frame and ruin the door, look at the door. So four magnets, the front can clip on. If it ever gets in the way, I feel like I need to pull it off, I can pull it off and there's no damage to the frame, but they are pretty strong and they hold it on. So uh, I'll just be reaching in through the front of it. It's just to mirror this on this side is the effect. So yeah, I'm gonna read there now. Let's screw this thing up on the wall. Okay, to get this up on the wall, just a couple of L brackets. So nice and simple, screw them on. I'm gonna lift it up and just screw it to the wall. That's how we get our L brackets in place first. Lovely. Couple of screws to the bottom and then we should be good. Okay, let's load this thing up and uh, we start with the highest grit I use, which is 600. Where did I leave my 600 sheets? There they are. There we go, 600. So they can sit on the top, just like that. And we have 400 grit. There, just like that. A whole pile of 80 grits. And I think I'm out of 240s, so that's okay. Our large orbital sander can sit there. We can add more shelves to this if needs be. A few more shelves up here, maybe, if, if it feels necessary. But I think I'll put the, like I'm saying, the belts for this guy, we'll fix here. So that's the idea. Okay. Another sanding disc, there's a 100 grit. Go there. Right guys, there we go. That is one completely recycled piece of furniture, that Oak TV stand. Now, I know this was kind of a short video. Um, most of what I've done in this cabinet was already in this video for this build. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure and go back and check out that because that's the more detailed build. This is just a quick um, build just to, re just to recycle the last bit of that cabinet and uh, maybe give you guys a bit of inspiration when it comes to a sanding station. 
so it's nice and simple. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm not sure if I'll even post this video. I'll see what it's like in the edit if there's enough content to put it up. Um, it might be a part two, really, to this, this one. So uh, yeah, so the, I have the dehumidifier is in place there now and it's collecting water nicely there. So I know I didn't put that in place at the end of the video. So it's in there, it's working and it's protecting the tools. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. So it's good to recycle stuff, to reuse stuff. And there's plenty of old furniture like that getting thrown out all the time. So keep an eye out for it, especially if you're into the woodworking. You'll get yourself some nice wood, some nice stuff that you can recycle. Sometimes it's an oak, sometimes it's ash, sometimes it's even mahogany maybe a teak door, stuff like that. So it's good wood that you can turn into something for your workshop or even into something for your house. You can make a nice piece of furniture once you recycle it. So yeah, hopefully that's been inspiring guys and uh, comments and questions below. Hit like, hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Links to all my tools and everything are in the description. All the books I recommend, all that kind of stuff is all in the description below. So check it out, feel free. And uh, yeah, it's time for a beer. So I'm gonna get one, take it easy.